Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Crochet Podcast, episode 87. much for inviting me over. If you are new to this channel, my name is Krista and that is my secret yarnery. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. You're also welcome to join. There's a ton of awesome membership perks, but I'll be telling you about that a little later on. Very exciting. You're going to love it. And this channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. If you don't know, I am Canadian, but I live in Nairobi, Kenya. So my life might also be a little bit different than yours, so if you want to see anything behind the scenes, you can pop on over to TSY After Party. That is where I put up things that are going on behind the secret yarnery. So family life, things in the yard. So if any of that is of interest to you, you can hop over to that channel and subscribe as well. So what I want to do in the new year now, today, I'm giving a big shout out to Sammy. She would like to take us on a tour of her yarnery, so that's coming up. And I want to also just give shout outs to our other family members in alphabetical order. Get my glasses on. And if you want to be a family member or join the channel, there is a link to it down below. Just on the home page, that little thing that says join right there, that's what you click. So first shout out goes to Caroline. Hello, Caroline, I'm so glad you are part of us. She is over on a WhatsApp with us. Also is Sindra, hello my dear, and Claire, and Donna, and Gina, and Jacqueline. They are all over with us on WhatsApp. So those are like my girls, I know who they are. We share pictures and I get to see what they're working on. That is super fun. Now Carrie the Yarny Elephant, she is a family member, hasn't joined WhatsApp. So Carrie, if you wanna join the WhatsApp group, love to have you. And then there's Kim, my girl, and Chris, and Leslie, and Linda. Now they're all over on WhatsApp too, so I feel like I know them. Then there is Lauren. Lauren has not joined the WhatsApp group, so if you wanna join Lauren, send me a email to Krista at secretyarnery.com and I will hook you up with our uh, WhatsApp groups. Mama Hodge Crochet and Crafts also hasn't joined the WhatsApp group. You're more than welcome to join us. And same with Marie Miller. You can join us if you'd like to, and thanks so much for being a family member. Then there is Narelle, she's in Australia, love it. And also Sammy is in Australia too. We have a lot of Australians, I love it, it's so great. There's pretty much someone to talk to all day long, like in all the time zones, we have people in all the time zones. And also Tracy, Tracy, you're welcome to join our WhatsApp group as well. She is a family member. And now, do do do, here is Sammy. Hi everyone, my name's Sam. I thought I'd give you a little tour of my yarn area and show you what I've been working on. First of all is this Granny Ruth blanket that I'm making for my youngest son. I really love the colours, just, just two different greens and a beige. I currently have two whips at the moment. This one here is going to be a king size blanket. I've already done a oh, maybe a, an eighth of the, of the size. So it's going to take me a while, but I love it. I absolutely love the colors that I've chosen. It goes well with my room and it's going to go on our bed eventually. My second whip is a C to C blanket. I love the yarn that it's on. It's so soft and so snugly, but I'll eventually get back to it. This is my little yarn area. Got a TV, a nice comfy chair, and lots and lots of yarn. Oh, and an air conditioner. Well, I hope you like my little tour and showing you what I'm uh, what I'm up to at the moment. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. Thank you for having me. See ya. What? Can you believe that? Didn't she do a good job? Love it. So if you're a family member and want to give us a little tour of your yarny space, I can send you the list on WhatsApp or email of what the questions were that she answered, or you can answer any questions you like. But it really helped uh, Sammy and I kind of put that together, like show us your whips, show us where you crochet, and how great is her chair? It's perfect right by the window. Air conditioner, I love that. Hmm? Summer months, you're working on something, just pop on the AC, keep working on it. Hmm? Turn, turn your little yarnery into a refrigerator. Such a great idea. So if you're interested in doing that, let me know and I'm be super happy to feature you in the next podcast. Now, 
First of all, finished objects, I thought it had none. I'm like, there's no finished objects, I haven't done a thing. I go to bring down my whip, and it's stacked on top in a basket with finished objects. <laughs> Now, nothing glamorous, don't get me wrong, I did not build a Mona Lisa or anything, but I do have some finished objects. So sitting in bed with some yarn, wanted to make a hat. So with the beginner series, you know, increasing the circle, like doing crochet increases, increasing into a circle, it's pretty easy to turn that into a beanie like a beanie tutorial. I'm like, oh, I want to do a beanie tutorial. So sitting there, and you know I always have a little hair clip in, unless I'm in the shower washing my hair. <laughs> then I take it out. Other than that, I'm like, I always have a hair clip, and I'm like, well, let me first try just to do like the increase, and then turn it into a bit of a hat. So I did just a normal beanie first, well, halfway down the normal beanie, and I was like, you know what I should try? I should try to match it to that stitch sampler cowl I showed you last week, because then it would be practicing the same stitches. It'd be like a hat to match the cowl. So I'm like, that'd be super cute. So I tried to keep the pattern repeat into the same, and like end on single crochet so it doesn't, it's not too stretchy right at the edge. But, well, I'll try it on again for you, but at the time I'm like, no, fail. Eh. But I kept it, like I haven't frogged it so that you can see, well, what a fail looks like, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, so no front post, back post, literally just a little beanie with your different stitches. But I don't like how it's like a full circle and then it goes into like the different stitches. I, just don't, I don't think it's that great. So yes, it, yeah, it worked, but I'm like, no, no, no. So then I went to go and get blue yarn. I'm like, I'll do blue yarn and I'll just do a little brim on it. And I'm like, okay, so just double crochet, super simple. And then I had, of course, I had my hair clip in, so I was like, I'll do one of those messy bun beanies. So I went down and got my box of elastics. And this is a new kind. I normally don't have, like normally I just buy them in bulk and they're all the same size, like, you know, normal size, one size for everything. But this little package has, diff has like little baby ones in it. This big. So if I, if you stretch these out and like lay them flat, like pinch them flat and measure it, that is four centimeters or an inch and a quarter. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, four centimeters. And I was like, that's great. So how I do my hair ties. So I take three regular rubber elastics and then I just crochet around them to make like a hair tie. And they are fabulous because uh, they're super stretchy and there's three elastics so they last, last a really long time. And the yarn around the edge lets them stretch but also really holds your hair. And it doesn't let your hair get onto the elastic part because you'd be like, oh, it's gonna pinch my hair, break my hair, they don't. And they grip, there's just enough rubber band in there to like really hold your hair. Like it doesn't slide down and they don't lose their oomph over time. So they're great. And once you start, using those. There's a tutorial. I'll link it up in the cards. Once you start using those kind, you can't use like Goody or all those brands from the, from the store which you think you have to have. No, 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 you can't use it. So I had these little small ones and I'm like, that would be so cute for hair ties. So I made a bunch of little hair ties. And these are good just for like a little pony. If you have more hair than I do, my hair is quite thin. Well, it's quite fine. I have a lot of hair, but they're very thin hairs. I have very fine hair. So they work really great and they don't slip. Anyway, they're just pretty, they're pretty great. So I made a bunch of these. I gotta put that on the top of my head now though. There we go, I need it up on top. Up on top. So there is my little bun. And then cute little bun hat. So this is my first one. So I just calculated if I'm missing two rows of my circle, there would be 24 stitches in the next round. So I did 24 single crochet around my elastics. And now, let me get my bun in there. <laughs> Cute as a button, right? I think I made it too long. I should have stopped, like it should have been up here. Do you know what I mean? 
It should have been more like that. I made it like two rows too long, or maybe even one row too long. Anyway, I made it too long. But if I actually had cold weather, it'd be great because it covers the ears. But for the pattern, uh, I'll make it a little bit shorter. So how do you prefer your hats? Do you prefer them covering your ears? Or how do you prefer it? Or even longer and you can flip it up? It might be interesting. Anyway, this is my finished object, which I didn't remember that I did. These are super cute and very handy. I don't know if I can keep that. <laughs> well, I guess I'm keeping it now. That was fun. Then working on the beginning series classes and trying to do it like chronological. So the class will come up and then there'll be a project, like a tutorial, like, you know, something to do to kind of learn that technique that we just did together. So working on that all chronological and like where are you going to put this project, when you're going to put that project, do you know what I mean? Kind of like just trying to figure it all out. And there's a lot to figure out. There's so many different little things I want to teach you. So I've been planning that out a lot. And one of the things I want to do is like just really quick projects where you can kind of finish it up and feel successful. Like, oh good, it's done, you know, yay, move on to the next thing. So not too many big projects and what I want to do is make a Speedy Granny Ruth scarf. So I was trying to pick colors for that. And this is what I found. So kind of like a forest mushroom, a burnt orange, and a turquoise. I thought that'd be so cute for like a scarf. It's, it's wintry, but it's fun, and it's a little bit spring. You know, like it's fun, but still kind of seasonal. <laughs> So I thought that's going to be really fun. Have to film it, obviously, tutorial, but the power's been out. Insert picture here. What? So this big power tower thing fell down and no power in like all of Kenya. You can imagine that bad boy. It did come back. Everything's fine. However, couldn't really, you know, film anything and couldn't start anything without filming it because then I'd have to like go back and like pretend to film the beginning part and it's just kind of more awkward. So couldn't start this and then I'm like what I want to do as like a seasonal project or not seasonal but like an annually kind of project, just something I want to be working on casually on my own is making a really big granny square, solid granny square with full on increases in the corners so it won't be like an actual square, it'll kind of be like the corners will be extra wide, like how you're supposed to do for a cocoon cardigan or whatever. So I want to make a really big one of those, like blanket size and then use that as a cape. I want to make a cape my winter, because I'm in Nairobi, my winter is starting in like June, July. So June, July is going to be really chilly and I would really like a blanket that I could wear around like a cape. Are you following me here? <laughs> so I'm like, what if I just busted out some yarn, like the colors I'm not really into, like I could do is I could just stash bust. Do you know what I mean? And then I'm like, but I like all my colors really. I did unpack I don't know if you can see it, but I've unpacked some yarn. I did buy a, a 12 and a half extra kilos of yarn for the giveaway, the Share the Yarny Love giveaway that I do in September's. So I have a whole bunch extra of those colors because ordering from the factory, they have a minimum of 12 and a half kilos, blah, 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 blah. And I was one pack short. I was like a little bit short, so I had to order a whole other 12 and a half kilos. Had to. I could have, you know, substituted other yarn. However, um, did that, and now I have a lot of those colors, and I'm like, I should just use that to make, like, use those colors from the giveaway to make my cape or my blanket coat or my Stevie Nicks shawl. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to do something like hippie, rustic, you know. I'm going to say practical. I'm not thinking attractive. I'm just thinking, like, wow, you're cozy. Do you know what I mean? Like it's actually a blanket. So got my colors out. Let me poke them in there for you. Got my colors out. These are the colors from the Share the Yarny Love giveaway. And I like them. They're all great. So I'm like, I'll just use these. So I started my granny square. And I got that far. And I'm like, that's cute. You know, that's cute and stuff. But I worry worry. Well, I don't worry, but I think wearing that around the house, I think my husband is going to be like, like you yarn bombed yourself. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and 
I'm not going for like fashion or pretty or anything like that, but I also don't want to like, I don't know, I don't want to be like that crochet lady, do you know what I mean? So I'm like, it's just a bit bright. I think, I don't know, I think the light green is too, it has to go, and then I'm like, maybe the light orange has to go, and then I'm like, then it's just a two greens and gray? Boring. I mean, it looks cute from back here. Anyway, last, yesterday I was sitting in the, without electricity being like, I totally love it, and then I'm gonna wear that? So I mean, I don't know. I like it. You definitely know where I was in the house. You'd see me, but uh, it might be a bit loud for my clothing. Be a good shirt though, wouldn't it? A little tunic, that'd be fun. Anyway, that happened and then I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be doing this and actually I'm not gonna use that much yarn. I'm not gonna stash bust like, you know, eight kilos of yarn. It's, this is gonna be like a kilo. Right? At not even, like it's going to be less. 800 grams, like eight balls of yarn. I'm like, if it's eight balls of yarn, for Pete's sake, I should have colors that go with more of my outfits. I could leave the house in in a pinch. Like I wouldn't stand out like, you know, that lady. So I went through my yarn, my tin out of there. I went through my yarn and I found these colors. So, and this is all in favorite which I love, by the way, I'm gonna be ordering more favorite. They say it's a four weight, it's a light four weight, so it's in between a three and a four, so if you're in Australia, much closer to an eight ply. Thank you, I'm trying to learn it. So a light blue, a mushroomy brown, a really cool blue color, like indigoy blue jeans or like brand new blue jeans, and a charcoal -y. So into that, um, I'm trying to find another color to go with it, and my favorite is on the second shelf here along the bottom. So anything there, it's either softly baby or favorite. And I didn't want to put in the softly baby. I wanted just to use favorite. Uh, just what's like it has all the stripes have the same feeling. I didn't want one stripe being softer than the rest because softly baby is very soft. I'm like, let me just use favorite for all of it. I already have four colors that are great. I need another good color in favorite. I don't have a uh, white, I don't have um, a brown, other than this brown. I mean, I don't have like a beige, I don't have a taupe. Uh, I don't have another blue, I have like, like loud blues, but I mean, I wanna go with more of a neutrally palette. I have a yellow, and I'm like yellow, it'll be like Ikea running around, my Ikea blanket. So I'm like, what to do? So I actually took this basket and walked all the way along my shelf, just trying to see what was favorite and what would go okay with it, just to be another color. And I found this beauty. That's a gorgeous color. Now it does not, it's not like a blue and it's not a gray and it's not a neutral, but that's kind of all wearable colors. Do you know what I mean? Like it goes with, um, it can go with my wardrobe. It won't stand out so much. It'll be earthy and warm. I'm like, that's exactly what I'm going for. So I started that one. And check out that beauty. Reminds me of Hobbit colors. Hmm? It's like my Hobbit cape or my Hobbit cloak. So the gist of it, I can show you the gist of it, of how it's going to be. Obviously bigger, but that's the back. And then that's the front. It's gonna need like a big clasp to hold it shut. And then it, the triangle kind of folds down the back. And this will almost drag on the ground like Merlin. I'll just be like, where's my coffee? Hmm? <laughs> so I'm like, I could wear that. I could rock it. I can get a really cool, one of those embroidered, Claire, help me out. One of those embroidered clamps, you know, where they have, um, you know, embroidered. So you put it on the one side, you put it on the other, and it, and it like loop, it latches on. So one side's a ball and one side is a loop, and you just kind of loop it together. So like a permanent shawl pin on, on, the, on the cape. So that is what I want to do with my yarn over the, like when I'm not doing anything. Because I find myself upstairs, I'm watching TV, and it's like I can't work, like, you know, I want something I can just be crocheting on for myself whenever I feel like it. And 
I will be a big project. Like this, it takes like as it gets bigger, it takes longer and longer to do one row. Do you know what I mean? So I don't mind that. I think it's fun, and I'm really enjoying the colors. I was worried about the green. I was like, oh gosh. But now I really like it. And the blue has turned out to be like that off-white, like the bright color that I was looking for. So I'm really into it. I'm not doing any particular color order. I'm just crocheting like in a random pattern and I'm trying to use more of that gorgeous blue and more of the mushroomy kind of color to keep it more blue jeans and neutral and throw in less of the green and less of the light blue. For now, I might change my mind when it's bigger. <laughs> because, I don't know, but I'm really liking it. I think that would be a really nice cape. Hmm? Oh, I wonder if, I don't think it's gonna fit yet. Well, obviously, but, no, it doesn't fit yet. <laughs> anyway, I tried. So that is my little relaxing project. I was also considering um, switching, like turning it back to front, back to front to keep the squares nice and even. I did that for the colorful one. I switched, like I flipped it row to row. But then I was like, it's gonna be a really big rectangle, like a really big square on your back. And I think it might just be nicer to keep all the stitches looking nice and not worry about you know, the, the natural twist that a granny square gets just going towards the direction of your crochet. So I decided to do this one without turning my work. So let me know your opinion about that. Would you turn your work or you wouldn't turn your work for a big cloak, a big blanket jacket? And if you would like a tutorial for that or if you want me to uh, tell you how to do it when I'm done, you can also let me know in the comments down below. And which color do you like better? Should I stay loud and proud, or do you think it's better I, what, what do you call it? Milked myself out, <laughs> muted my palette? Let me know in the comments. Uh, uh, uh. Is that it? Now let me check my notes to see what I missed. <laughs> I did make notes this week. That's why I knew it was number 87, just saying. Yeah, so that's it, I think I nailed it. I think writing things down is helpful. Anyway, thanks so much. You can see more over on TSY After Party and there's a lot of tutorials coming up. I think this weekend we are doing the stitch sampler cowls. So get your one skein of yarn ready and we'll be having a lot of fun with that. Live chat on Friday if you would like to join us. And thanks so much for inviting me over. We'll see you in the next video and stay hooked. I think I did it. Do you think I did it? We'll find out what I didn't do, I'll tell you that, right? I might get to Burger King after all. It's 11.30, I got two hours to get this edited. The kids wanna go for Whopper Wednesday. They love Whopper Wednesday. I love Whopper Wednesday, what am I saying? I love Whopper Wednesday, so I'm taking the kids when they're done school, 3.30. So I'm gonna try to get this all done before then. So if you see this after my happy mail from Jacqueline, yeah, it didn't work out. <laughs> Stay hooked.